Is Obi Wan Kenobi? Or is that Lando? Yeah, Lando Yeah, it is Lando Calrissian. You are so smart. Lando Calrissian do a handstand. Lando Calrissian does do a handstand, doesn't he? Whose toes are those? Are they stinky? Can you smell them? Oh, stinky. Oh, stinky. Oh, so stinky. What's up, y'all? It's Patrick. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to practice with me here on YouTube. It has been a while. I hope you're doing well. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably know what I'm about to say, but roughly three months ago, I ruptured my Achilles tendon playing hoops with some buddies, and that was incredibly tough and frustrating and Ironically, not painful at all. Like it hasn't hurt once, not during the surgery, not after, not when it happened. I actually just started walking again today. So I'm officially out of the boot uh, for moving around, which is so amazing. Um, happy to be out of this thing. With that being said, if you wear a size 10 and a half or so, and you're looking for one of these things, let me know, I'll send it to you because I no longer need it, which is such a, such a huge win. To be perfectly honest with you, it hasn't been that debilitating um, for the way that I'm living my life currently. And what I mean by that is I've still been able to do my practice in a lot of respects. I've still been able to teach at our studio Commune Yoga for our online platform. If you practice with us on there, thank you so much uh, for being part of that community. And if you wanna check it out, I'll actually drop a link down below so you can um, give it a try for one week for free. Um, and I've been able to obviously play with my daughter, been able to, you know, be part of my relationship with Carling and all these other things. So in terms of my day-to-day -day life, while I haven't been able to walk and just do like normal human being things, um, and I've been crawling around a lot and there's tons of challenges with that, like how to get in and out of the shower, L life has been okay. And if I made a number of videos kind of around the injury, I felt like I would have been adding drama to something that... To be honest with you, I processed the the emotional and physical struggle of it pretty quickly um, because I, I immediately started focusing uh, straight away on what I could do instead of what I couldn't do. So if you have an Achilles tendon injury or a rupture, the number one thing that you need to do after surgery, if that's what you choose to do, is let it heal. And so you don't want to stretch or stress the tendon at all um, because it needs to, you know, kind of bond back together. So the, even even the recovery part of my journey hasn't been that interesting, even until now. And I'll show you some of the stuff I'm actually doing for recovery um, right after this, because I'm going to get into my practice pretty quickly here. But I'm into this phase now, we have a lot of really exciting things happening um, in terms of our studio coming online and just like the general life that we are living here. It's like very simplified and. Um, you know, it has its own bit of fun, I guess, if you will, but I, I really wanted to, you know, start to share some of this story a little bit more now that we're at this point where you can, you know, kind of see my struggle to, to, to watch my leg come back to some sense of normalcy. And in addition to that, I will be releasing classes again pretty soon. Uh, so I'm excited about sharing that with y'all again. Uh, so with all that being said, let's practice. My left leg is already locking up a bit because it's just not used to the intensity of it. Whew, round two. That's cool, Daddy Robot. That's cool, Daddy. <laughs> that's, that's cool. A cool robot. A cool robot. Wow. A cool robot. Oh, big. What's a robot say? A big, big, big. 
Oh, did you get this lean in for that? I would love to, thank you. I squat. You squat, we're squatting. Squatting a robot. Squatting Are you doing a, a good squat? I squat too. How's this? Oh, it's stripey squat? Baby squat. Yeah, stripey baby. Can we, maybe if we put stripey baby against the wall, he can squat. Ow. Okay, you just carry him. You wanna get some brekkie? Everybody. Everybody doing a squat? Yeah. No buttons. No buttons, you're right. Those are just for daddy buttons. Demo day. Demo day over here. Are you having a demo day? I'm just in the recovery phase of this session and what I'm really trying to do here is just get my left leg especially used to the um, the pressure and the amount of power from the machine. My right leg is pretty used to it uh, just from the last three months of being kind of plugged into it pretty nonstop. but my left leg, especially my left calf, cramps um, really quickly in relationship to my right. Uh, which is funny because my right leg is the injured leg, but I spend a lot of time doing this and as you can see stripey baby is hanging out with me right now um, I'm just kind of slowly getting used to um, Holding this position and just the voltage of it or Whatever you want to say, I guess But yeah, uh, finished recovery session of the day and now we're off to do some more fun things Do you love a Nana? Mm. Mm, yum. Mm. <laughs> what? Look at you. I just wasn't ready. I for wasn't what? prepared for the camera to be on. You know, I'm trying to, trying to think about my coffee. I wasn't got the sleeping bag on. I like that you have a transportable sleeping bag that you constantly wear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the best purchase I've maybe ever made of item of clothing, most worn. You just, it's basically a sleeping bag. You just zip it up. Nike, coming through with my favorite winter jacket. The comfy hype beast. Yeah, it goes all the way to my ankles. <laughs> <laughs> so that way you can still see my shoes. What else do you need? <laughs> this is what we're dealing with. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, it is a different day few days after the original <laughs> recording but we have some fun stuff on the schedule today starting off by going to teach so we'll take you to commie and check it out let's see the setup to the set true or false you became a country music fan in general or at a certain time so just like yeah, yeah. So, so like what what was this train what was this transformation like so you were you know, Devin the Dude, <laughs> E40, blah, 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 yay area. Not knocking the music, it's fun stuff, but. But that was a previous incarnation a, of myself, which I still like, however. For example, when we first went to our first music festival together, by the way, for safety, you should probably be holding this. I, but, I was thinking about that. Uh, Carling thought that Brother Ali was gonna have more fans than Vampire Weekend and she just did not understand why Brother Ali was- I had never was... heard of Vampire Weekend and I was like, but Brother Ali's like a top five artist for me. Like, well, of course. But then I realized he was playing at noon on Friday. And as a music festival novice, I wasn't quite aware that that was not a great t set time <laughs> compared to Vampire Weekend, which was 10 p.m. <laughs> in the amphitheater at the Gorge. Lesson learned. Yeah. So, anyways, from so from that that type of rap music, mainly what you listened to growing up too, country, it's country, those country. Tunes. I know. Now I hit Sweet like a, a Peloton ride to a country playlist. That's how how deep I've gone. Um, what was the transition when we lived in Portland? When we were vlogging a lot, you all saw us talk in the car all the time. And there was a country station that was the only radio station that had no commercials ever. And if you know Portland, it's a really small town. Nothing usually takes like more than five or seven minutes to get to, although I know it's traffic and all that. But nothing's very far, so I never wanted to throw on music. So we just listened to what was it, The Wolf? 
Yeah, I, well, I don't know if it was called The Wolf. I honestly can't remember the name of it, but I feel like The Wolf, could be The right. Eagle, 90, some sort of thing. But there was never a, a commercial, so I would just listen to country, just turn it on, and then turns out country music's great. It's you can learn the words in like one listen. It's not that serious. <laughs> the beats are almost always fun, you know, even if you're singing a little bit about alcoholism. <laughs> like, but, uh,. Yeah, you know the words instantly, so you can sing right along. And then I just fell in love, and now here we are, and your girl's obsessed. Yes. All right, y'all, so as you can see, we are in the studio. Carling is turning on the lights and making things happen. We are obviously in uh, full pandemic mode, if you will. I think the last time I made a little video with the studio involved, you saw some of that good vibe coming studio energy, and now, there's still that good vibe, of course, but it's just only the team. You know, it's uh, obviously myself, Carling, CJ, Shelby, Erica, and my mom. And we're, we're out here vibing, grinding, creating classes uh, on a daily basis. So uh, that's kind of part of our online studio platform. And it's a, it's a fun thing, but it's definitely a different thing, wouldn't you say? Definitely a different thing. We've got it pretty dialed in now, though. Oh, it's definitely dialed in. You know? It's just, it's just funny. But that it's, just, it's, I, you know, it's just the little, you know, your your quarantine circle is your family these days, and and your students, and your coworkers, and, and your friends. I was gonna go with that "You're Everywhere to Me" song, but I didn't know who What's sang your it. What's "You're Everywhere to Me"? Oh, like you're everywhere to me. I don't know. I feel like that was a. I feel. Like, you yes, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, uh, Who sings it? I feel like I want to say I Michelle know. Branch. But. Oh, it could be Michelle Branch. It's probably, it's one that's like in uh, 10 Things I Hate About You or something like that. Yeah, that's or your kind of movie. You should know that. That's No, I know the song, but I don't know. I can tell you Who would you pick of that of those two movies? Which one would you pick? She's All That or? 10 Things. 10 Things. Because of Heath? Mm, no, Julia Stiles, because of Julia Stiles. Or because and because of Andrew Keegan. Julia Stiles is a good, a great character, and I, Andrew Keegan has epic hair, and I think my crush on Andrew Keegan, Keegan growing up led me to you. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, you got it. You ready for this set? I had to control it first. That was sloppy. It wasn't the best entry, but hey, you made it, and now you got that drop gaze going, yeah. finessing it. <laughs> They're here, Harvey. Got you lots of towels, just in case. I think we need all of them. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's cold today. It's not even cold at all. It is. It's pretty cold. It's fine. It's beautiful, but cold. <sighs> all right. Look at those nimble steps. Stupid. Not nimble. <sighs> nimble like a thimble. What movie is a thimble famous in? Thumbelina. What else? Cinderella? I don't know about that. I, I have one in mind, it's a 90s movie. Thumbelina. Robin Williams is in it. Hook? Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> like, it was in there. I, my feet are. Let's see, jump in that cold shower. I just did it. I'm trying Let's to get see. back to neutral, and then I'll get cold again, and then I'll go back in the sauna. All work is easy work. <laughs> <laughs> just, should we start you in OnlyFans? On that note, we'll see you next time. <laughs>